Hello everyone, uh, this short video is to answer one of the questions which I have received several times from several, several of you who are either students or working in the industry and they wanted to know how they can plot XY graphs using Abacus. So if you have a result file, how you can do it. So I already have opened my Abacus CAE here and I have opened my result file which is a .odb file in this case. If I want to see control plots, I can just press this and you can see I can plot stresses, I can plot equivalent plastic strains. This is a metal metal specimen in this case. So without going into the details of what this problem was, I will just show you quickly how you can plot a stress strain curve for a certain element. So first thing you need to do is you need to extract data for, for that specific element. So I'm gonna zoom in. And let's say I want to plot somewhere here how does the stress and response of this element is so I'm just gonna go to the tool there are many different ways of doing it you can do it through this way you can use these these buttons here as well I prefer this way because this uh, for last 15 20 years I have been using it these menus are very much the same these buttons keep on flipping and switching so it's easier so I go to XY data here and it's going somewhere else so here it is I will say create ODB file and then I will say continue okay, so I will just close it for the time being and now I can select in this window what values I can really want to plot if you are plotting stresses and strains generally they are computed at integration points so it's preferable to do that you can also interpolate or extrapolate based on wherever you require you can do it at centroids at nodes at specific nodes for the whole element so it can do all these kind of interpolations and extrapolations for you by it i mean have a CAE. so i'm going to go with the default one which is integration point and i will say let's say in my case my coordinate system say that i pulled it in y direction so i'm looking for the stresses and strains in y direction which is two direction two in abacus terminology one is x always and i do the same for this so you can also plot equivalent stress or phone disease stress with equivalent strain and so on so i have these two relevant variables which i want to plot and then i will select the element type so i will just say edit and then i can go and select any element which i want so i can go and select this one i can select multiple elements by just pressing the shift and keep it pressed and i can do multiple selections as well as you can see so i'm going to select one to for simplicity in this case I have done that and then I will say save. So now Abacus has saved my XY data in if I go to the manager I can see it with this and this. However if I plot these then you will see that this these are the plots which look very odd because the displacements are different. But in any case so you can see what you can see here is your stresses and strains are a function of time so if i go back and if i can increase the fonts and everything so i can just play around with this i can just say increase the font to a visible font size and i can do the same for access and then i can say okay 24 i'm just selecting something so you see i can i can see what is happening there i can do the same for this just to make it more visible and I can do the same for the title I'm just going for the default one for the time being so now if you if, we, if you see here it's time versus strain and also this is stress versus time what I want is I want stress versus strain so what I will do I will just combine these two together so I uh, will say create and I will say operate on XY data and then I will say continue. Once I have done that, I will just go to an option which is called combine here, which is here. So I click on this so you will see combine here. Now it's asked you to select two variables X and Y. So in this case, my stresses or strains can be negative depending on the direction and also if they are compressive or then intention so I will use an absolute value so I will say absolute and I will say strain which is my which is my x quantity and then I will say absolute value of stress 
which is my y-axis quantity or vertical axis quantity and then I will say save so if everything is okay I can just say uh, s22 versus l e22 or vice versa l e22 versus x22 whatever you're doing and now it has saved it as I see you to do this so now what I do I'll just go and select this and I will plot and you can see this is how my stress string curve looks like in this case it's a complicated damage model again I'm not going into the details of that but this is how my stress string looks like now I want to create or make it more presentable so as I told you you can just increase the font sizes you can increase the tick marks you can you can play around with this and you can achieve whatever you want out of this so, so this is stress it looks okay decent size so I'll do the same with axis numbers and I can make it 24 it looks okay we'll do the same for this 24 and I can do the same for the title maybe I will increase it to 36 or something so once you have done that you can play around with this you can also change for example if you want something for this XY thing to have let's say you want to have like markers or something so you go to options you can go to XY options curves and then you can play around with the curve option so oops try somewhere else so I'll try again and XY options curves okay and then I can basically say I need a marker there so I will, if I press this uh, sorry I will select the this one here and this and then you can see you can around pillar and then you can change the colors you can change the color of the line or whatever you want once you have done that the next step is how you're going to take it to uh, powerpoint or word document so you just go to print file you go and say print this is one of the easiest options you can use different snippet tools as well and then say file and maybe a png file with reduced to this or whatever and then you can see where it is stored copying and then you can name the file let's say s22 versus le22 and then you just press ok and then once you have done that hopefully you will have something which is there which is a png and you can see this is my data again if you are not happy with all these things you can still change and change the resolution you can change the color you can change the color of the background and so on so I hope this helps you can change the color of the background using using this option so you have to have display area and you can say fill or no fill so it will become white or whatever. so again try that if you like it other if you have any more question get back to me thank you